Hey y'all, Sir Luhu here, and we are back again with Steins Gate. So, last time, Okarin and Daru decided it was time to take things a step further and hack into CERN's servers. So, yeah, that's kind of big, big thing going down. Would not expect them to take such a huge risk, but uh, they're doing it. They're getting into CERN's servers to see, I'm guessing, to see if they can try to get some more information to further their experiments on the time machine because everything with the time machine is kind of at a standstill right now because it stopped working. We don't know why yet. Um, other than that, we had a conversation with Amane who is uh, making me think that she might be John Tider now. Before that was Moika, now I think it's her. I don't know if it's just going to be like a constant red herring thing or if it's going to be a secret character who's John Tider or something, but... We're just going to have to wait and find out, but the way she was talking about CERN last time made it seem extra suspicious. Anywho, we're back on to the forums with John Tidor again, so let's see what's new there. So, life in 2036 is very different from what it is today. Most people live on farms, growing their own food. All forms of commerce and communication are restricted. There's no travel, no internet, no railroad even. Most people never see another town, let, an eh, let alone a city. Science continues to advance, of course, but the vast majority of people do not benefit from the progress. Technology belongs only to those chosen by CERN and the Committee of 300. It's very peaceful, at least on the surface. There's none of the conflict you see in this era. So it's kind of like the Hunger Games without the violence. <laughs> There's no war. How is that even possible? How did CERN resolve the situation in the Middle East? What have you got against world peace? Sounds to me like CERN's doing humanity a favor. This Tidor guy stole a time machine from CERN, didn't he? He's the bad guy here. Die in fire, terrorists come. <laughs> uh, the world in 2036 is governed by CERN. All nations, even America, have disbanded their armies. To put it simply, civilization has returned to, the eight to an 18th century level of technology and exists under a communist system of government. Except now, the system works flawlessly. Right now, you should be asking yourselves, how is that possible? Uh, how does a system of government that collapsed in t the 20th century exist without any discontent? The answer to that question is the reason I am here. Yes, I am a terrorist. There are others like me who fight against CERN. We think of ourselves as the resistance, but there is no denying that our actions are kind of terrorism. <laughs> Anyway, I want to hear more about the Many Worlds interpretation. You said it's been proven by 2036. How? I like how it's just like, okay, we'll gloss over the terrorism. Oh, no, nope, next comment is about the terrorism. <laughs> I knew you were a terrorist. How many have you murdered? What if my kids are among them? Maybe I really should kill your father and protect the future. Stop being around the bush and give us answers. You're one of those old men who participated in the student riots, aren't you? Filled your head with a bunch of bullshit and now you can't tell fact from fiction, am I right? Where are the student riots? I'm not familiar with this. This would be a really good time for one of those little, you know, pop-up things that inform me of stuff. Or wait, did I get one? I might have gotten one and not noticed it. Nope, I, I don't think I got anything new. Poop. Alright, whatever. Delicious nationalist tears. CERN probably figured it out. They've got a time machine to experiment with, right? If uh, that would make you no better than Tidor, if you're willing to face consequences, then go right ahead. Murdering Tidor, I guess is what he's replying to. Um, Tidor, question. Did World War III take place as scheduled? Why did you come to this particular time? Did you find the find an IBM 5100? If is John Tidor plucking for the commies? I thought that went out of style years ago. What, do you mean making the future sound, like, good? I don't know. It doesn't really sound great. Sounds very oppressive, but whatever. I thought Titer was crazy, but this who in guy is even crazier. Get a room, guys. LOL. World War Three. laughing my ass off. Isn't there supposed to be an IBN 5100 in Akiba? As I've already explained, my goal is in this time is to change the future. I'm posting here to warn you of what's going to happen. Perhaps convergence will render my efforts meaningless. But if even one person pays attention, that's enough. World War III? Is that something I said on a different world line? I would like to talk to you in private. Please email me when you have time. Of course, if anyone else would also like to email me, feel free. 
Serious inquiries only. Please, all I've been getting is hate mail. Here's my address one more time. John Tidor, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they're just spamming, spamming Tidor, aren't they? No, no, that's him replying to other people, wasn't it? Why, why are you guys... <sighs> this person's not that bright, are they? Alright. Yes, yes, we saw that, John Tidor. Dario? How, how, how are things going? 20 hours have passed since Dario started hacking. Has he been eating? Night gives way to a refreshing summer morning. I glance at Dario while browsing at channel on my phone. How long have you been on at channel, man? He's fidgeting even more. Now his legs are like pistons. His knees move up and down in harmony with the rat tat tat of his keyboard. <sighs> Daru hasn't slept in about 40 hours, but he still won't get off the computer. Like most people. I was going to ask him if he'd like a break, but his entire body is exuding an aura that says, Don't talk to me. I curl up a bit and return to my phone. My discussions with John Titor just aren't making sense. Not even Titor himself seems to know about... The Tidor from year ten years ago. It's hard to imagine that everyone on Ad Channel is conspiring against me. But how else can I explain it? Out of options, I decide to email Tidor directly, just as he told me to. He audaciously exposed his own address on Ad Channel. I guess that's his way of saying, bring it on, that or he's an idiot. <laughs> so much spam coming, outgoing. In my email, I question the differences between his post now and his post ten years ago. The current Tidor hasn't even acknowledged the latter. I only vaguely remembered them, but they basically went like this. In 2015, World War III breaks out. In 2015, World War III breaks out. Many people die. Not on our world line! In 2036, the... Oh, by 2036, the world is a nuclear wasteland. John Tidor travels to 1975 to obtain an IBN 5100. The 5100, IBN 5100 was necessary to revive technology lost in World War III. The IBN 5100 has a hidden function, the ability to read IBN's pro eh, proprietary computer language, which predates APL and BASIC. So, are you sending him all this information that he gave out just to try to convince him that you know what you... You're, what he's talking about, but only certain IBN engineers are aware of that function, so it does not appear in the manual. In 1998, John Tidor meets his younger self and his parents in America. Okay, John Tidor was a soldier who volunteered for this mission. Okay, so, well that changes everything a bit, doesn't it? Or does it? It was 1998? How old are all of our girls? We should all be roughly, like, 18 years old, and this takes place in, like, 2000s. They might. They might have met him. So it could still be the girls. I don't know. John Tidor was a soldier who volunteered for this mission. John Tidor is an American. John Tidor is <laughs> It's Karisu. Oh my god. Furthermore, in 2000, Tidor correctly predicts the outcomes of some future events. See? This is what I'm talking about. They... But no, she was freaked out by it. Right? Or was she just surprised that we could come up with it? I don't know. It feels like anybody could be Tidor. Or Tidor could be anyone. I don't know which. I wonder if it's actually another character, if it's someone we know. I get the feeling like it could be one of the girls because of all the hints they've been dropping, but I'm wondering if that's just their way of, like, screwing with our mind. I've been playing too much damn gun rumpa. <laughs> Tider, cor yeah, Tider correctly predicted the outcomes of some future events. The Peruvian Coast earthquake in 2001, the election of a new pope, the outbreak of the Iraq war, China's advances in space, and so forth. Though he only talked vaguely about each one, they all came true. On the other hand, other predictions went unfulfilled. For example, the Y2K bug, civil war in America, the cancellation of the Beijing Olympics, the inauguration of America's first female president in 2009, and so forth. There's more, but let's leave the those aside for now. I'm going to ask him- wait. When did this game come out again? This one was 2009, right? Yeah, this was a 2009 game. Alright, sorry. I was, like, getting my years confused for a minute there. Oh, all this time travel stuff. 
I'm going to ask him why those predictions didn't come true. Why have you changed your story? Also, most of your predictions from back then didn't come true. If you're... Okay, fine. I didn't want to read it anyway. Sorry for the sudden mail. Oh, I can read it. Thank you. So kind of you. Do, do, do. There we go. Um, also, most of your predictions from back then didn't come true. If you're from the future, then why didn't you pr your predictions come true? I'd appreciate a satisfactory explanation. Sending mail. Alright, let's send it now. On its way out. If you can't answer to my satisfaction, then the current title is an imposter. This is your limitus litmus test, my bad, John Titor. Ha 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 ha. So, what are your true colors? Good morning. Mayuri, welcome back. Mayuri comes in. She looks like she's forgiven us for experimenting on her food. Well, we did say we'd get her more, so. She's back to her usual smiley self. Uh, what are you doing here so early? Well, I heard you guys had stayed up two nights in a row, so I brought you some goodies. <gasps> she brought us food? Excellent, good job! And I was supposed to get you food. Though, to be accurate, it wasn't two nights in a row. I took an after afternoon nap yesterday. Mayuri starts fishing through her convenience store bag. And then she takes out... Ta-da! Canned Odin. I... Canned Odin. That is... A canned meal sold in vending machines. Each can contains a hot broth with various Odin ingredients such as boiled egg, radish, konjac, konjac, whatever, beef and tofu, a papiaka bar is special. So it's soup. It's soup, right? It's just a can of soup. <laughs> Thank you? The can of Odin is so warm when she gives it to me, but it's heated. How did that? I opened the lid right away and eat the beef. Mayuri and I have been together for a long time, so she knows what I like. And when it comes to Ken Odin, beef is where it's at. Beef's always where it's at, yo. It's a present from- Oh, it's a present from Mayushi. They're 270 yen each, so savor it, okay? I've been getting tired of eating bananas and chicken lately. Buy these instead from now on. Only bring me this. All I want is soup forever and ever. Soup is amazing. But Mayushi doesn't have enough pocket money to splurge like this all the time. How much is these things? I'm so bad with yen. Okay. And Mayushi loves bananas and chicken, so she'll keep them buying them. Mm. I consider saying you'll get fat if you only eat frozen foods, but the threat's not very effective against Mayuri, so I hold my tongue. Let her eat what she wants to eat. Her high metabolism prevents her from getting fat, no matter how much she eats. Got that wonderful metabolism. But wait, there- oh, uh, but wait, there's more! Ta-da! What is this? Next, she produces a small box with a Rynet illustration. Rynet sausage! It comes with an Oopa bottle cap as a bonus. I really wanted it, so I bought it. Sausage? That was so strange! She sticks out her tongue with a shy giggle. Something tells me that is that in a few months' time, this lab will be neck deep in Oopa goodies. Uh, there are only a few things right now, like the cushion on the sofa, but that number is sure to grow exponentially. Yep, what Mayuri wants, Mayuri gets. So, how's Daru-kun? Uh, he's in the midst of a hard fight. He should at least rest a little. I mean, I never said he had to do it all at once. Up, oh, phone! Daru-kun's super hacker spirit is on fire! Yay! Skyclad email. What is this? Greeting. Oh! This is Amani Suzua. First email. Thanks for exchanging addresses with uh, with me yesterday. I finally made a friend here. Yay! Don't worry, I won't email you too much. And I might be slow to reply to. I'm kind of new at this email thing. It's okay to laugh at me. Okay, I think I've screwed up the last two messages. So let's see what we got here. Ah, that wasn't an exchange. You took my address by force. I had no choice but to submit. Uh, friendship, where were you living before? And slow to reply. Haven't used cell phones much. Ah, these are so difficult. Because I thought I was being, you know, good by asking them questions about themselves, but... 
That doesn't seem to have worked out for me too great. Um, let's try this one. Let's be forceful with her. Sending mail. Mail sent. This isn't going to turn out well either. I regret it immediately. I wish I could, re like, resend these, but we only have one chance at this. Wait. Yeah, his super hacker spirit be on fire, yo. Ah, uh, don't say hacker. Uh, an empty diet cola bottle comes whistling through the air. Don't throw stuff at my Yushi. It hits my head with a nice thunk. Or me. Don't throw stuff at me. <laughs> he sure is tense. Yes, very. He's very on edge. Mayuri and I evacuate to a corner of the lounge and quietly eat the Odin. But isn't hacking bad? Mayushi doesn't want you to do bad things. I would be a fool to let Daru's super hacker, I mean, hacker skills go to waste. Don't throw things. Incidentally, it looks like hackers hijacked certain system back in 2008. We found a news article about it online, so it can't be that hard, right? That means even the inventors of the World Wide Web have holes in their security. With his skills, Daru should have no trouble getting through. I mean, it's been 20-something hours, man. <laughs> Besides, we're doing this to expose Cern's wrongdoings. This is a war against the dark forces that secretly rule the world. We're the good guys here, Mayuri. Bad things are bad. Uh, that's unusual. Mayuri usually just accepts whatever I say. Well, I admit it, we are doing a bad thing. <laughs> but there's no way we can stop now. Yeah, we're right in the middle of it. Gotta keep going, power through. I mean, even if it's totally illegal. But whatever. I need to change the subject. Mayuri, wanna trade my sweet potatoes for your beef? Oh yes, please, more beef. Ah, uh, if you want to trade, I'd rather have your quail leg. Don't be ridiculous! Next to beef, quail eggs are my favorite. I've never had a quail egg before. But my Yushi likes quail eggs too. Uh, settle for my chikua? What's, what's a chikua? Okay. Um, okay, chikua's better than sweet potatoes. With that said, I skewer the chikua and put it on Mayuri's can. And I give her beef in return. Delicious beef! Meat for the win. Subject change complete. Mayuri really eats up conversations about food. It's so easy to manipulate her. <laughs> uh, soon, if I can just get this SQL table, I'll have more than enough password. <laughs> You're no match for me. Almost done, Daru Daru. Daru has started talking to himself. Kind of lost his mind. Looks like things are falling into place. Daru really is a super hacker. I think this is the first time I've seen him serious. Daru bends himself forward, staring holes into the screen. But all I see on the screen is the same string of numbers and letters. Oh ho ho, come on, come on, yes, yes, <laughs> you can't hide from me, you naughty thing, you. How does it feel to be naked? <laughs> Goodness, and I was worried about the maid cafe dialogue. His eyes are bloodshot and he started rambling. <laughs> Maybe the lack of sleep is getting to him. It would appear so. Daru opens up a new window, types in a 12 character string and slams the inner key. An error sound rings. He quickly deletes the string and enters in a new one. He keeps repeating the sequence until finally... Da da da! Login success. Oh yes! Yes! Magic ID and password. Login complete. Hell yeah! Taste it! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, uh, well, what enthusiasm, indeed. Did you get it? Got the stir? The smug bastard turns around with an expression of immense satisfaction. As if he's gone into la petite, uh, la petite mort, the little death, gross. Mission complete! Really? Now you go and rest up. Wow, that's amazing. I don't really get it, though. Don't worry, my ear. You don't have to get it. Just stand there and look pretty, darling. After 20 hours of agony, it's finally over. To show Daru my appreciation, I toss him an unopened Odin can. Give me your beef, though. I want the beef. Odin cans are the best after a job well done. Well done, you really are the world's greatest super hacker. Not them. <laughs> hacker. A hacker, right. I'm glad you're on my side, is all I'm saying. So, did you find out how they're planning to destroy the world? I haven't looked yet, man. All I did was get us connected. Yeah, we are right there for that. But it's all downhill from here. I'm sorry if you're tired, but please start checking. The keys to this conspiracy have got to be in there. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. But uh, let me eat this own can first. Yeah, you've earned it, totally. 
After a short meal break, Doro taps on his keyboard more nimbly than before. Uh, the question is who this password belongs to. Why is that? I went into a certain database and got a data table. From there, I focused on people with simple passwords like 1111 and A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H to get my hands on an ID. It'd be awesome if this turns out to be the server's admin logon, but I don't think we're that lucky. In Japanese, please? Same. Basically, if this is the server admin's password, we can taste every inch of CERN's luscious, luscious flesh. But if it's just an ordinary researcher's password, then we can always see CERN's boobs. Good enough! Sorry, Oku, that's naughty! With the erotic examples, basically you mean there will be limits to what information we can access. It's better than nothing. Exactly. Anyway, it's only a matter of time before I get a server admin's password. Let's save that for later. I'm really sleepy now. Yeah, take your time. Go ahead and sleep, dude. It would be cruel to push Daru any further. Indeed it would. It's unfortunate, but overworking him isn't an option. Let's let him rest so he can regain his energy. Oh, it looks like our ID belongs to an Accelerator Division Chief. So, it's not a server admin. No, no, it is not. It would take a miracle to get one of on our own first try. How many staff members do you think CERN has? I don't know, probably over a hundred, so... How many? Over six thousand! Oh, okay, well that is a lot. <laughs> that many, huh? Well, for now, let's look at uh, this Accelerator Division Chief. Uh, his name is... Jack. Let's look at his email log, too. And of course, the emails come up in English. If only we had somebody who spoke English or who had been to America and, you know, knew those things. Oh no, that makes my Yushi's head hurt. Uh, it's pathetic time to flinch at the mere sight of English. It's a pathetic time to flinch at the mere sight of English. Dario, what does that say? Need to translate it. This is a job for Dr. Excite. I don't know what that is. A machine translation site. That's probably not going to work out great for us. No, I've got a better idea. Daru boots up trans- No, I- eh. Daru boots up translation software and auto-translates the open page. Poor, unnatural Japanese shows up. The first line says, Happy New Year! Looks like it's a New Year's greeting. Something about going on vacation in Spain, lucky bastard. That email's normal, nothing out of the ordinary. If we keep scouring the log like this, we can also identify the server manager. You know, looking through someone else's email without permission makes me feel really guilty. Mayuri gets depressed and moves away from the computer. Mayuri is the best of us. <laughs> she sits on the sofa and hugs her giant oopa cushion with a sigh. I am sorry that we're disappointing you. I know we're doing something some eh, doing something socially unacceptable. However, I abandoned guilt when I chose the path of evil long ago. Mwahaha. Come on, Ocarina. Like you have to choose. Are you fighting against evil or you are evil? Can't have it both ways, man. I mean, you can because that would make you a very complex individual. But still, I would prefer to keep it black and white. Uh, let the responsibility- oh, let the responsibility be mine. I will not ask you to answer for my crime. Sorry, I thought that was dirty for a minute. Uh, what a guy. I l let Okarin do me in the butt. <laughs> I decline your offer, but accept the sentiment behind it. <laughs> now get peeking, Daru. Has he slept yet? Okarin, you're bad. You make my Yushi sad. I'm sorry! That's of no concern to me, but it is of mine. I care about my Yushi, she's adorable. You just sit there and pretend your hands are clean. Her hands are clean, she has no part of this. Upon further examination, we discover several emails with the title Experiment Report. In English, naturally. Looks like he sends emails like these almost daily. LHC Experiment Reports. There could be a hint about time machines in there. We should try reading them. This is definitely a crime, though. We're already in it, man. That's what his lips say, but his hand still clicks on the email. What comes up is an unintelligible series of symbols. This is... encrypted. Tch, of course it is. It, it, uh, it isn't that simple. Well, cracking this should be a piece of cake. Nice, super hacker. 
He's a genius, no doubt. Without Daru, we would get nowhere. Daru undoes the security in less than 10 minutes. Damn. The real time sync is deciphering the crappy machine's translation. Um, this translated into proper Japanese. It's, uh. Hi, fool! That act. Uh, that acting's completely unnecessary. Aw. Y'all need to do voices for it, Daru. I'll just. whatever. Uploading today's data to the server, the LHC is performing admirably. Can't say the same about the rest, though. This, this baby's fickle as a cat, but it was surprisingly obedient this month. It would be great if it stayed like this forever. But don't think you think this work is unrewarding? This kitten, this 27 kilo kilometer kitten, long kitten, whatever, <laughs> has been in operation for nine years. Our research will change the course of history, yet only a small group of people are allowed to see it. Of course, if it were ever officially released, it would be one hell of a scandal. People would probably say something like, Call Robert Zemeckis to CERN right away. He could build it in less than a year. Nine years? Daru finishes reading. I rub my temples to with my thumbs. Calm down, let's sort things out. Let's figure out what they're even talking about first off. Do you think there were any translation errors in that email? Did Dora notice something unnatural too? He's not joking like he usually does. If you trust the translation software, then that's what it says. The Japanese is strange in places though. But that doesn't make sense. I thought LHC was only put into operation around spring last year, but this email makes it sound like it's been in operation for nine years. Sort of like a certain John Tidor says, hmm. That is strange. The email send date is this year, 2010, so nine years ago makes it 2001. John, John Tidor posted this on Ad Channel yesterday. The only other thing I could say is that you must not believe their lies. They have already succeeded at creating micro black holes. I gulp. So it's true. If you read between the lines of this email, it sounds like they're doing some sort of secret experiment. Also, Robert Zimikiff is a super famous Hollywood movie director. He directed a trilogy of smash hit time travel movies about 20 years ago. So that would mean that it is time travel that they're working on. And that's why it would be a huge scandal, right? I groan. No way, was I right? Saren's hiding a major secret from the world? And it's related to time travel? Amazing. Keep looking, Daru. Search for anything related to time machine research. Seriously? I don't know if Daru's questioning my order or the possibility that Saren might be researching time travel. Either way, he begins tapping the keyboard again. Um, there aren't any emails with the phrase time machine in them. But the phrase Z program was used hundreds of times in the past few months. Do you think it could be the cur about the current LHC experiments? Um, oh, that's about the collider thing, isn't it? Uh, what is it specifically? Black hole formation experiments? Mm, let's try looking at a document. Ah, oh, found one. Dar opens the PDF attachment. Oh ho! Looks like this is top secret stuff from France, England, and Holland. Government secrets? No, probably not. CERN's not even a government organization, so why? Oh wait, is it? Wait, should we be looking at this stuff? We might be in a little deep here. No, no, I gotta keep going for the safety of the world and all that. I don't care, give me the details. Hold on, if we get caught, we're not getting off with an apology. Are you so incompetent as to let yourself be traced? I took the necessary precautions. Did you? You got some dot dot dots there, do you? Uh, when I failed to see the problem... Then I failed to see the problem, my bad. I couldn't read. Well, thanks. Daru makes a slightly awkward face as he takes the file about the Z program and feeds it into the translation software. Error, human dead, mismatch, hmm. May 14th, 137th Z-Program Experiment Report. 
Because we have already succeeded in our creative mini black holes, the report is omitted first. Please, stop, stop. What? All of a sudden, Titer's prediction became a reality. So CERN did use the LHC to generate a mini black holes. But they announced that their experiments still haven't succeeded, so why? This is what Titer was referring to when he posted, Don't believe what they say. But the goal of the experiment wasn't even to generate many black holes, it was to create new elementary particle reactions. Nerd doesn't take his wide eyes off the monitor. But in reality, they're already generating those many black holes. Sure does seem like it. What does it say next? Well, we are going to have to find that out in the next episode because we're out of time for today. So the way things currently are, um, I'm actually going to have to be cutting like 10 minutes off of the episode so we're back down to you know 30 minute episodes rather than 40 something minute episodes so you know that's just going to be a thing from now on sorry but it's just how my schedule is working at the moment um let's see so for this episode we have confirmation that Titor is correct and that Titor is also no one that we know yet we can't really like <laughs> define anybody we we keep on getting hints, though. We keep getting so many hints that it could be so many different people. And I just feel like we have to know the John Titor guy, but then we have the CERN thing, and I'm starting to think that maybe we don't. Maybe Titor is just somebody else, you know, out there in the world and everything. Because, like, look at the CERN stuff. All of the things with CERN is happening on the other side of the world in Europe. They have like a team of Japanese, you know, scientists and all that, but it's still going on in Europe and everything. And I, I'm not expecting us to travel all the way to Europe for this game, but you know, who knows? We have a faceless villain that we're, you know, potentially going against here. So that just kind of makes the whole thing problematic, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know. We have a lot of mysteries that we're forming here, and I just don't know what way we're going to go with it just yet. So, we'll have to wait and see in the future, and uh, until then, like and subscribe if you guys want to, and thank you for watching.